Hi and welcome to this tutorial. Here I'm going to show you how to create your very first macro without ever touching the macro recorder. So what I'm going to create is a very simple message box that's just going to pop up and give us a message, whatever we want it to. And then we click OK and it'll go away. But this, this will uh, sort of introduce you to the process of writing a macro. And if you'd like to download a bunch of free macros and other Excel resources, head on over to teachexcel.com. So now let's go ahead and begin. There are two shortcuts I'm going to be using in this tutorial. One to open up the VBA window where we write the macro and one to view the macro so we can run them easily. So we're going to use Alt F11 and F8. So let's go ahead and hit Alt F11. And when you do that you will see a screen just like this. Now this is where you're going to be writing your macros. It's also where you put user forms um, into Excel if you need to do that. And if you're not familiar with this screen, um, over here on the left, this is going to be your workbook and everything that's contained within it. So this is the name of the workbook, your first macro, and the three default sheets that are in the macro, as well as this workbook. Now if you need to, you can put a macro within any one of these places right here. Just double click and a window will open and you can put your macro there. But we would like to put a macro in a module. So to do that, go up to the insert menu and click module. Now to create a macro, the first thing you have to do, or this is the screen where you're going to write it, and to create it, the first thing you do is type sub, S-U-B, space. Now put the name of your macro, and this name is what's going to appear when we later try to run it from the Excel window. So I'm just going to type message box. Now for the name for your macro, it cannot contain spaces and it cannot contain a dash. So you have to have an underscore if you want to separate um, parts of the name. So once you have sub and then the name of your macro, go ahead and hit enter. When you do that, you'll know Excel automatically, notice it automatically puts two parentheses right here and an end sub. So in between the sub and the end sub is where you're going to put everything for your macro. This is where all the code's going to be, all of this empty space right here. And in between the parentheses, these are going to be here always by default, and oftentimes there won't be anything in between them. But if you wanted to pass a value to this particular macro, then you would um, put variables in between the parentheses here. So you would type something such as... that and that's how you could put a variable in here but that's a little bit advanced for what we're talking about now but that's why there are parentheses don't worry about them though so now what we want to do is create a message box basically so to create a message box simply type m s g b o x space and you'll notice as soon as i hit the space button or the space key it uh... excel gives us a little Thing right here that tells us everything we need for the message box. But to create the most simple message box, simply put a quote, type your text, close quote, and you're done. Now as soon as you hit enter or click away, you'll notice that message box now has a capital M and a capital B. So when the line that you're working on is inactive, so basically when you move your cursor away from it or you hit enter, the property or function used should then have capitalizations in it. And that's basically how you're generally speaking going to know um, if you've entered the function such as message box correctly. So anyway, now let's go ahead and run this macro. So we want to hit Alt F11 on the keyboard to close this window. And now hit Alt F8 on the keyboard to have this little window open up. Now this window is going to display all of the macros currently that are in all of the open workbooks. If you want to narrow that down, just click this and click this workbook. So the only macro we have is message box. And remember, that's the name that we entered for the macro. So that's where it appears. So you're always going to want to give it a good name so that later on you remember what it actually does. And when we click Run, 
you'll see that a little message box opens up. This is your message box and you can click OK and the message box will disappear. Now that sounds like a or seems like a very basic uh, or simple macro that you may not realize why you're going to want to use it but for instance you could set it up so that if someone tries to enter data in this cell here as soon as they start typing anything a message box pops up and says you can't type it in here or move two cells to the right or the answer is whatever. So anyway that is uh, an introduction to how you can write a macro and the one last thing I'm going to uh, I should mention is if you're in Excel 2007 you need to save your macro or your workbook as an Excel macro enabled workbook otherwise you're not going to be able to use your macros later on um, so that's it and if you'd like to get more Excel resources or download this macro or many other macros uh, go ahead and head on over to teachexcel.com and that's it for today